of what is arithmetic mean and, and geometric means. Okay. Arithmetic mean is what we understand to be average in statistics. We're actually finding the arithmetic mean. But what it is actually to do is with arithmetic series and, and sequences. So it is exactly the same as I say, A1 plus A2 and so on. And where it's most useful, I guess, is if you've got a missing term in the middle, how do you find it? Well, you average the numbers either side. That's what that's basically saying. And then that would tell you the number that should go in the middle of the pattern. Um, geometric mean, then, is to do with geometric series. But because instead of adding, we're multiplying. To find the geometric mean, we would multiply all the terms together and then find the nth root of that. And then that would give us the, the mean of the of particular series. So if I had two numbers, 4 and 25, the arithmetic mean, add them together, divide by 2, 29 on 2. But if it was a geometric mean, I'd be saying, hey, multiply them together, square root of 100. Well, I've said the positive square root, because a mean we're thinking of as a, a positive number. Um, so we get... 10. So the number pattern, if it was an arithmetic series, would go 4, 29 on 2, 25. But if it was geometric, the pattern would go 4, 10, 25. Uh, there's a bit of debate about that. I always make a positive myself. Because again, it's, there's that argument. If I'm trying to find the number that's in the middle of the two, how do I know whether the ratio is positive or negative? I don't, I don't know. So it depends what I'm using it for. If I was using it to find the number in the middle, then I would say, okay, well, actually, there's going to be two possibilities here. I could have multiplied by a negative number, could have multiplied by a positive number. Later on, and when I mean later on, I'm talking next year when we look at some inequalities and what have you, there's a, a rule that tells us that the arithmetic mean is always greater than the geometric mean. And in that case, we're always thinking positive numbers when we're doing that. There we go. Quick one.